Hey guys, it's Chloe and I'm here with one of the stars of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Melissa Gorga. Thank you so much for coming here today. Oh, thank you. All right, we have to talk about your new book, Love Italian Style, and yes. I actually have had the chance to read it. I love it. All right, so on The Real Housewives of New Jersey this season, there's a lot of drama and you're right in the center of it, as usual, unfortunately. And your marriage is coming into question, um, you know, fidelity issues and things like that. Now, Teresa has come out in a new interview and she has said, you know, I think that Joe and Melissa should not listen to the haters out there and stop putting the blame on me. What do you think about that? She, she's, she's saying that she is the victim this season. Um, that's funny. I really don't pay much attention to the haters or what they say. I think you can tell in my reaction a lot when they come to me with the most ridiculous things and I just kind of, you never really see me go crazy because it's so ridiculous. And I think as far as putting it on her, I haven't completely put it on her. I have said, and I'll say it again, that I think there's two stories and the truth is somewhere in the middle. Right. And I've moved on and I've forgiven and moved on from what I know has happened. True. And, and I can move on from it. I'm good now. I don't feel like there's a need to discuss it anymore. But she says though that she feels as though it's easier to blame someone in the family for the rumors than it is to go after, for instance, someone like Penny. Do you think that that's true? No, I don't. And I think I showed that on the show when I actually went to Penny and questioned her and right. was very skeptical with her and tried to actually defend my sister-in-law and saying, well, you said this and you said that and, you know, it was wasn't going with what Teresa said and they had two different right. stories and I think I questioned her to give Teresa that chance. Do you believe Penny? Um, no, not 100%. I believe that there is truth somewhere in the middle. No, why are you going to keep being friends with Penny then? Is it the whole like I am keep not, your enemies closer? I am not friends with Penny. Okay, good. Uh, I, like, sure. Yeah, I am not friends with Penny. Don't well, know her no, really. Well, Teresa had said in this interview that she felt like maybe you were doing something along the lines of keep your friends close, your enemies closer. It could be, but I think what Teresa is referring to is the fact that I walked up to Penny like a lady and mm -hmm. I spoke to her and I asked her questions. And I Instead her. of like coming up there and ripping her hair or her that ponytail out of her head. I think right. that's what Teresa was expecting me to do and that's just not how I handle myself. It doesn't mean that I'm trying to make friends. It just means like that's not my that's not my style. Now tell me something else. You also said that, you know, sex is something that's really important in keeping the romance alive, it is. but also not having sex all the time with your spouse. That it has to be on both of your terms. Yeah, you know, I, I really feel like intimacy is the glue to marriage. It really is. If you are just you know, they're living together and you're not having sex for a month here and a month there. You're more like friends living together. And when yeah. you lose that intimacy, um, it is the glue and you need it. And I truly believe like three times a week is, is do you set, really well. Do you set aside time for sex or does it just happen organically? You know, sometimes you need to set a time aside and you need to make it happen. It's best when it happens organically, but I know, you know, women working and everything, it doesn't always happen organically. And so. now you said that there are a few deal breakers of things that you should never do in front of your husband. Now, what are some of those things that you should never do? Um, poop is one of them. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I still don't do that, and Joe doesn't think so I do that. Pretend that you I don't, don't even do know it. what it is. That's like crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, so don't forget to pick up a copy of Love Italian Style. I can tell you that it is a great read and has a lot of really good tips. Follow her on Twitter, and don't forget to catch her on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Bye, guys. <laughs>